Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this is 10 interesting facts about chinchillas. Now, if you're a long-term subscriber of mine, you may notice that I've already done this video before. However, it was a very old video and the audio wasn't very good on it. So I thought I'd do a revamp and do it again. Don't worry, I have got new content coming in the new year. Number 10, chinchillas have the densest fur of any land mammal. They can have between 30 right up to 90 hairs per hair follicle, which makes them extremely dense and extremely soft. Now, their fur is actually considered the softest fur in the world, which is why it's so highly sought after within the fur industry. The best way to describe what touching and feeling a chinchilla is like it's like touching little fluffy clouds they are so so soft now a little bit of a bonus fact for you fortunately in the uk fur farming is actually illegal it was banned two decades ago so in the uk we don't ever breed chinchillas for pelting or for fur coats Number nine, chinchillas actually can see colours. Now this is not unique to chinchillas, obviously lots of animals have coloured vision, but I still think it's quite interesting the fact that your chinchilla can actually identify certain colours. They are actually dichromatic, which means that they only can see a limited amount of colour, but yeah, they have coloured vision nonetheless. And also another interesting fact is that according to studies, Chinchillas actually don't have the best eyesight. Their eyesight is a bit blurry and they use their keen sense of smell and their hearing in order to form an all round way to navigate their world really. So yeah, their ch chinchillas don't have the best eyesight in the world. Um, a bit like me really. <laughs> Number eight. Chinchillas actually have an exceptionally long gestation period for a rodent. They are pregnant for 111 days, which is nearly four months, which is, is unusual for a rodent. It's not the longest gestation period of a rodent, but it is still a really, really long time. Also, the babies are born fully furred with their eyes open. Again, this is not unique to chinchillas. I think guinea pigs are born with their fur and their eyes open but I don't think they have as long gestation period as chinchillas. So yeah, and they normally only have one or two kits, although they can have up to six, but that's quite a rarity for them to have that many. Number seven, chinchillas are incredibly social animals and in the wild they live in herds. Now a herd can consist of just 14 animals or it can go right up to over a hundred chinchillas in a herd. And it's partly a social aspect and also it's a case of safety in numbers. Now that's why people do recommend that you get more than one chinchilla when you own chinchillas because they are incredibly social and do benefit from each other's company. However, there are some, some situations where you can't do that. Say for example, if there's dominance issues or you have a trouble bonding your chinchillas there's, there's always exceptions to the rule but it's a good idea to try and get them company if possible number six chinchillas bath in dust to get clean and not in water and this goes back to my first point about their dense fur now in the wild, if they were to bathe themselves in water, it would take forever for that fur to dry and in a cold environment, they would quickly die of hypothermia. So they roll in dust instead to get clean and the dust actually exfoliates their fur and traps any oils or dirt that's in the fur. Now you can actually see a difference between before and after a chinchilla has taken a dust bath. It really does work in actually getting their fur nice and clean. Number five, 
chinchillas are actually not nocturnal. Now this is a common misconception is the fact that they're nocturnal. When they're not, they're actually crepuscular, which means they're actually most active at dawn and dusk. Although they are active overnight, this is dawn and dusk is when they really, really are super active. So yeah, they're not exactly nocturnal, they're crepuscular. Number four, chinchillas have long and extremely strong hind legs, which they use in the wild to jump from rock to rock because they actually live in a quite mountainous terrain. They also use these to leap away from predators. Now these legs are so strong that they can actually leap up to six foot in the air with a single leap, which is a long way for such a small animal. Number three, male chinchillas more often than not will hiccup after mating and it's sometimes referred to as the mating call and no one really knows why they do it. There have been some theories out there that say it's because of the excitement of mating causes them to hiccup. Yeah, but we don't really know why it happens, but it does happen. Males do actually hiccup after they've mated a female. It's a bit odd. Number two. Chinchillas can do a thing called fur slipping, which is where they release large amounts of their fur if they feel threatened. So for example, in the wild, a lot of their predators are birds of prey. So if a bird of prey was going to grab them, the chinchilla can release part of their fur in order to get away. And the chinchilla escapes and the bird of prey will just get a clump of fur. They can still do this in captivity. If you hold them incorrectly or if you startle them, they can just release part of their fur. It doesn't hurt them and it does grow back. But obviously you want to avoid it if you can. But yeah, that it can happen. Um, and it's an ingenious way for them to actually get away from their predators. Number one, chinchillas can actually spray urine. Now again, this is a defense mechanism. So if they are feeling threatened, they can actually go up on their hind legs and spray urine at whatever they're feeling threatened at. So uh, it's to distract a predator long enough for them to escape, really. They can also do this to each other if they're having a fight or if there's a male that wants to mate a female and the female doesn't want it, they can spray urine at each other. Yeah, so it's a thing that does happen and sometimes they do consider humans a threat if you've got a skittish chinchilla and they may well spray urine at you. It's something that females tend to do a lot more than males but both have the potential to do it but it's more likely to happen with a female chinchilla. So yeah, that's another fact for you.